All right, everybody. So we are back with another tier ranking list, and we are going through each Black Veil Brides record, and we are doing each individual song as well on those records, so you guys can get an idea of what I think of each Black Veil Brides song, and what is your favorite Black Veil Brides song of all time? What's your favorite album of all time? Let me know by commenting down below. We've done We Stitch These Wounds. We've done Set the World on Fire. We've done Richard and Divine. We've done BBB4 already, so if you guys are unaware of those, go check those out as well if you haven't already. That would be appreciated. I have a playlist saying Black Veil Brides tier rankings. That's where you would go and find that. And Black Veil Brides also released a new single with a new music video, Born Again, very recently. And if you guys would go over to that video that'd be awesome to see what my opinion of that is as well and I would like to hear your guys' opinion on that as well you can go over to that and we can discuss that there and I will leave a link down below in the description so you guys have direct access to that as well and BVB Veil vale is their fifth studio album not fourth <laughs> and it was released January 12th 2018 John Feldman did the production on this one Jake Hits also gets a credit as well on this. He does some pretty damn good work. I don't know any of the bands that he's worked with off the top of my head, but I've heard some of his stuff. He's really damn good. And he has a YouTube channel as well, which I can leave a link to down below. You should go check out his shit. He's really fucking cool. All right, we're going to get into the tier ranking then. All right, everybody. So no curveballs here, really. I just changed up the wording on the each individual row and the rankings, if you will. Really freaking good. Basically gold. Great for silver. Mediocre okay you know it's gonna be brown not good is green and then not familiar is just going to be in this i guess different shade of green here so the album is down here and it's not in any particular order it's just in random order it's not in the actual track listing that you would hear on the record and all right so it starts out with here on the least on this list with ballad of the lonely hearts um this one i'm not crazy 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 familiar with but I do remember liking it. Um, I think it's the one that had like a really, really bluesy kind of solo in the middle of it. I'm going to put this one in mediocre just because like I vaguely remember it. But I, re I remember it enough so it doesn't go down here. But I don't remember it like that. So eh, we'll, we'll put it in there. Throw the first stone. This had an edgy, edgy fucking riff to it. Um, I dug this one. But where would this one go? I wouldn't go in the really freaking good. I, w I would just have to say probably great or mediocre for this one. We're going to go into mediocre for that one. It's the back end of the album. Veil Where This Ends. I really freaking love this album outro right here. I had so much harmonization. Um, I was every t Almost every time I listen to the song, I harmonize with it. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go in the great for that one. I don't think it's really freaking good, but it's it's fucking good. And in P Inception, Inceptions ad finum, I, I, I guess that's Latin or something. I don't know how to pronunciate that or pronounce that. Yeah, grammar Nazis out there, freaking roast me. Go for it. Um, yeah, I guess it's okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> don't really give that one a good listen. Last one is not the last one on this freaking list, but. It's a damn good song. We're going to go into great for that one. And by the way, this album, not really like um, at the end of the day, not that there isn't any shredding on this album per se, but this is more of just like a more of a vocal based album in my opinion. Um, I know I say this about pretty much every Black Veil record and almost every single song, but I feel like, I feel like this is driven more by the choruses and the vocals than anything. Um, so less emphasis on like the riffs and all that good shit more on the melody just so you guys know and wake up's no exception wake up uh th that one's fantastic um but does that really pertain to really freaking good i don't know what do you guys think leave a comment down below what you think um it's hard to say um this one is wow um great or really freaking good it's definitely not mediocre i just gonna put great for this one when they call my name i need to practice god damn i cannot freaking sing that anyway that's a really kind of um i, re I recall this one as more of a kind of just like a mid-tempo one not not really upbeat but it was, it was really catchy 
Not really freaking good, but it's going to go in the great. The Outsider. Okay, this is the first one I heard from this record. And this is probably the most riff-oriented one. Really fantastic riff. That, that, na 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 This is like a dope-ass riff. Um, cool solo in it. I mean, it's catchy through the verses. The, uh, stay your prayers every night. Blah, blah, blah. I forget lyrics all the time. Yeah. Really catchy. Um, this is going in really freaking good. We got our first really freaking good song from this record. Won't be the last. You gotta stay tuned for that part, man. Alright, or woman. I don't want to assume gender out there. We, we have a wide variety of freaking people listening. Hopefully we do. Uh, anyway. Damn Walking. Dead Man Walking, sorry. Overture 2. Um, this one is like 8 minutes and like 35 seconds. So kind of like Master Puppet's length. I think literally just by like two seconds they're off from each other but um they don't sound anything like which is fine uh but uh this one is great um i i honestly like when it comes to like longer songs these days it's very rare um and i kind of just get kind of thrown off i'm like oh boy here we go and which is really ironic because i like a lot of metallica and they have a lot of songs that are long um but this this was a really good one i Actually, really enjoyed it all the way through. Really freaking good, no, but great is, I think, appropriate for that one. Our Destiny, um, really, really, um, again, catchy chorus, meaningful chorus. I really, like, honed in on this one for some reason. I don't really remember this one as well as the others, but, um, just for some reason, like, just that hook, like, who save our destiny or whatever. I, I'm really bad with lyrics, so I apologize. And this album, I'm not quite as familiar with as the others, so you gotta bear with me, but... This one was, I'm going to put it in great. And The King of Pain, one of, one. I think it's one of the last ones on the record, maybe third to last, and we have My Vow. Um, these two I'm not, again, like, as familiar with. My Vow, um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and put that not familiar, because I'm looking ahead and just not really remembering it all too well. The King of Pain... I'm sorry, but I'm having a hard time remembering this one, so I'm going to put this one in Not Familiar as well. So this particular record, I've only listened to maybe like four or five times all the way through my life, and sometimes that's just not enough for me to give like a really analytical and very, yeah, a very analytical kind of analysis on it. And I hate like settling for less, so, so I, I feel like, you know, I'm not giving you guys enough. But, um... I guess that's more incentive to listen to this one more often, but every single time I have listened to it, I've enjoyed it. It's just, like, it's hard to distinguish every single song from each other when I just look at the track listings, if that makes sense to y'all. And, maybe I'm, like I said, maybe I'm just one of those people that just has to listen to it a hundred times. I don't know. Like, I did with the first three records. and Actually, really, four, four records, actually. Yeah, so far, like, Set the World on Fire is my favorite all-time record, followed by Wretched and Divine, followed by We Stitch These Wounds, and then, of course, BBB4, and then Veil, and then Vent of Tomorrow is their next record, and that just came out. I haven't listened to that all the way through yet, and I did a reaction, of course, of Torch and Born Again. They are both on the channel already, so if you guys want to go check those out, in the description down below, I will leave a link so you guys can go check those out as well. That's also on the reactions playlist, so you can find it on there somewhere as well, and I appreciate any kind of requests for any bands that you want me to react to that you want me to do a tier ranking list of or to potentially cover because i do vocals and i play guitar as well if you guys aren't familiar so all that kind of stuff is on the channel and i will consider it as well if you guys do request something and it's appreciated if you guys have made it to this point thank you so much and consider subscribing to the channel Hit that like button and ring that notification bell. It really, really helps out a lot, and it's really appreciated, guys. And until the next one, guys, peace, and rock the fuck out, guys. Continue to do so.